What is up today guys? Today we're going to be testing a new form of animation. It's something that I've never worked with, but in theory, it could be the perfect animation tool. Maybe it's really good, maybe it's crappy. And if you read the title, you think that joke's funny. Anyway, what is this tool we're animating with? Well, it's extremely valuable here in 2020. Toilet paper. We're going to try to animate with toilet paper. What does that mean? Well, let's go ahead, crack this guy open like he's an iPhone, and we will get into this. This is what I mean, like, see? Oh, oh, it's like taking the plastic off an iPhone. Here we go, oh, boom, satisfying. So toilet paper is segmented, that way you can tear it and stuff, but what if we instead treated these little squares like they're frames? So in theory, we could unroll this and pretty much have our animation timeline right in front of us. So this is my theory, my experiment to see if this is gonna work. We've got a whole slew of Sharpies and pens and rulers and tape. I'm gonna put down a piece of black paper so we can better see the toilet paper art going on here. So I'm thinking we could animate on toilet paper in theory and then perhaps hook it up to the toilet paper holder in the bathroom and maybe we can spin it real fast and have an animation. Uh, and if that fails, I guess I can resort to like taking pictures of it and throwing it to After Effects. I'm really hoping the whole spinning thing works, but we'll have to see. That's what makes this a challenge. So yeah, let's go ahead and start with a basic ball bounce just to see if we can do it <laughs> um, pretty much. So let's get set up and do a ball bounce or at least try to anyway. Alrighty, we've got our animation set up to play blast. Let's go ahead and check it out. I'm just gonna pull this down real quick and hopefully I do not rip it. Let's do it. One, two, three. That was slightly unsatisfying. Let's try that again. See, we do get a weird form of like onion skinning, but it's not gonna be useful when that's five or so frames away. All right, so it's like. I think I had higher hopes for this. <laughs> ah, come on. Yeah, it just goes by too fast and you can't really see what you're doing. So, instead what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a picture of each of these from like, you know, this far or whatever, and then put it into maybe After Effects and we will see if we can't do that. Alrighty, so now for this next one, I want to try to do a walk cycle. Just, you know, a basic step. Yeah, just a basic step. And then we can like loop it and we can see him walking. I think this time I'm going to take pictures here on the desk that way I can lay it out flat and I can use markers on the piece of paper and, you know, keep the stuff in the same spot. It was kind of difficult toilet paper roll holder thing, so I think we're going to be done with that. Anyway, that aside, let's do a walk cycle.
Alrighty guys, so, the ball bounce, was it a huge success? In terms of what I wanted, yes. I wanted to simply know, will animating on toilet paper work? And I'm gonna call it a success. Now the technicalities of the animation and the lack of the onion skins, that's a bit of an issue. Um, I can see why people don't make movies on toilet paper. Did I learn how to do this? Yes. Uh, was it great? No, obviously not. Now with the walk cycle, yeah, you know, um, I was lazy. I only did half of the walk cycle. So the black leg and arm switched to the red leg and arm halfway through. Sue me. I just wanted to see if I could do a walk cycle. And yes, I can. I'm putting these in 24 frames a second, by the way. Now I want to kind of combine the idea of a bouncing ball and a guy and do something with that and have an awesome animation to wrap this up. Anyway, let's get into the final epic animation on toilet paper. Let's do it. Alrighty guys, here we go, here's the big reveal. I'm excited. I think the first two projects, they warmed me up, the initial ball bounce was just to get me into it. The walk cycle was you know, just to feel out how to space timing out, stuff like that. I feel like this one is gonna look good. Let's watch. Hey, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I said, you know what? Get him off the screen. I was debating between having someone tackle him, having like a hook come in and just pull him off. But I was like, you know what? I just want to hit him with mule near. Bounce, legs, body, arms, boom. There we go. It's not my first hand-drawn animation. I've done one. It's There's a picture of it up there. But, um... I don't have any of those files anymore. I did it when I was in freshman year of high school. I have the paper I did it on, but I don't have the uh, files. Even that, it was just drawing, taking a picture and erasing it. This, I had no reference as to where my um, previous drawing was because it wasn't drawing and erasing. There's no onion skin, there's no nothing like that. It's simply, you know, I've just got to eyeball it where the previous square is and kind of see if I can move that up vertically so I can get things in the same position. I, as you saw, made little markers on the side of the, um, on the side of the roll. And I was like, oh, the head is about here, the hips are about here and stuff like that. So I'm really free and happy with how this one turned out. I didn't expect to get it on the first try. Second one was obviously better with the walk, but you know, I cheated, I only did half of it and then looped it. But this one, I think there's 69 frames. It's almost what, almost three seconds of animation. So I'm really, really happy with that. It's a fun little challenge, doodling all over something so valuable. But if you guys enjoyed seeing this be done and you know, you like animation, you like art, you like weird art like this, uh, go ahead and subscribe, you know, that's what we do. And 
Again, if you're very much into animation or art, making art with literally anything like this, um, check out my Teespring store. You can see animation shirts. We've got fun, fun stuff over there. Uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think. Down the how do I end these videos? What the frick? Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. So if you would, please like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later. Let's do it with the toilet paper. Oh, oh, can you see me? Hi there.